Good afternoon and welcome. Today is Sunday, on uh, whatever day it is in September, and we are going to review, not install, review the installation and the pods themselves. Uh, this video is sponsored by FCK Light Bars. I have to go ahead and say a big thank you to them because this is a really great deal they put together for me and now I have a sponsorship that I'm starting with them and with that all said, let's get started. Hello guys, TRD Pre-Runners here. So today's video we're going to cover uh, not an install exactly because when I did the installation the video just it just got deleted and so that's all my fault. Um, most of my stuff on my phone was erased at the time, and, uh, yeah, we, I would want to show you the video of the installation, but to go back through the hassle of pulling out all the wires again, and, you know, reconnecting everything, and setting it up, just to show you guys, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of basic, I'll go through it as we go, but we're going to review the installation, and I'm going to call this a dirty install, because also it's not the best install that I've done ever on the truck of anything in particular because it was kind of last minute too and we didn't have all the right tools at the same time so it wasn't also a one video thing I had to make it into two videos but we'll I'll just stop talking for now and we'll go through this so the first thing we're gonna review is the pods these are P4 pods uh, three by three inch pods from FCK light bars. They make some great products. Uh, not only pods, but you know, light bars, overhead light bars, switches, you name it, they got it for lights. That is, uh, most of their actual application, and I'm referring to like vehicle specific stuff, is really just for, uh, they have mounts for Toyotas and Fords and everything. Most of their stuff is for Wranglers, but. Hopefully with the sponsorship we can get them on the Toyota train, right? Um, with that being said, let's go over this. Now, these pods actually light up pretty bright. And they you can use them for any, pretty much any application. Right now, I'm using them as fog lights. As you remember, there were some circular LEDs right in front of the truck there were probably about the size of one of these LEDs and then the frame was a little bit bigger but these are four LEDs in one right now I currently have them more pointed down for uh, obviously for the legal reasons of fog lights it's just two you know two wires connecting to the same switch um, I wish I could get some better detail on this but most of that wiring it does look very factory. They taped it all up nice and tight. Here's the ground. Here's the relay. It's a mess of wiring, really, because really, this is basically the, all the chunk of the wiring. The reason it's all like that right now is because I didn't have zip ties at the time, and um, it's just a lot of extra wiring. I didn't want to go ahead and snip it because, you know, the fact that it's already all taped up to make it look like it's factory. I like that. I just wish it was shorter. Um, so, FCK, let's... Uh, just a little, you know, idea for something to make something shorter. As you know, most of you know that I have this control panel that never sticks down onto the relay box for some weird reason. Watch, it's going to pop up. Huh, I guess today it had different feelings. Anyways, oh, see? Right there. Just pop back up. There it goes. Pops back up every time. Anyways, so I have that control panel, and that control panel obviously avoids me from going straight directly connecting it to the, to the positive side of the battery. And I just had to put a fuse there. It already comes with a fuse in the harness. It already comes with a harness in the fuse, so you can have the choice of either connecting it straight to the battery. It comes with a hoop for that, for connecting it straight to your positive and to your negative. As you can see, it does come with one as well. And with that, you can connect it straight on there if you're not going to connect anything else. For my application, though, I decided just to connect it to my fuse panel to avoid having to have too many wires on the positive side of the battery. And 
as you seamlessly saw that most of this looks pretty factory it's all taped up nice and tight the switch was not the same case the switch that it came with I did not like the fact that it had to be a certain circle and you had to snap it in so I did my little take on it and the switch that I had for the light bar as you can see which is this top one I use it also for the bottom one and the great thing is that this one actually does light up as you can just see right now so let's take a look at these in video you know video never does it justice with certain light of course, LED light is that main focus, but you can see right there, it was actually pretty bright. And for fog lights, they do pretty decent. Um, the other day, I had lost some sheep, and uh, I actually had these already on there, and the light bar, for some, for some reason, it wasn't working. That's all fixed now. But the, the thing was, I really needed more light than what my stock headlights gave me. So with just using those fog lights alone, I found my sheep that were deep, probably about 75 feet in a dense forest, certain area, forest, I don't know what you would call it, it's just dense forest area, and I found them with just these light pods alone, which just goes to show you that even though they're mounted down for fog lights, this brightness that they make, it helped me find my sheep, which I was very impressed by. So. Kudos to you, FCK Light Bars, for making this thing very, very bright, even though I'm only running them as fog lights right now. So, what's next for FCK and I to do next on the truck? Well, I mean, that's pretty much the biggest hint right there. The great thing about FCK is that they warranty their parts for, you know, no leakage, no water you know, seepage trying to come in through and, you know, create that condensation in the light. And these are also powder coated really well. And I really like them. I really like them. You can even get them with like custom, you know, wording on them and everything. The great thing about them too is the covers that they make for them are pretty cheap. I think the covers for these pods, a pair of them, is four dollars i'm not sure i'll have to look that up and i'll probably correct it later in the video if i'm not feeling lazy enough but as you can see those light pods are a great addition to the trd tacoma and what else can i say well hopefully fck i hope to working with you more on the truck you know together you sending me stuff and me paying for stuff you know but that's how it always goes doesn't it um, I hope this video is great for you guys to look over and maybe you can get yourself a pair of FCK pods too. Again, that's fcklightbars.com. If you're looking for these exact pods, these are P4 cubes. So I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you enjoy this video. Remember to comment, like, subscribe to my channel, TRD Pre-Runners. Not hard to find. Same with Instagram, TRD Pre-Runners. And same with Snapchat, TRD Pre-Runners. Also, another, another nice touch to the channel, if you have Twitter, because some people have Twitter and they like to be on Twitter, uh, I am also there as TRD Pre-Runners. So, there's some a lot of ways of social media that, um, that you can access me by. And if you actually wanted to, you know, send me a message or a question or something, I'm pretty much always on my phone. Anyways. I hope you guys had a great day and see you soon.